Hi there, the middle child of the Echo Show series is here. The Echo Show 8. 5 bhi hai, 10 bhi hai, ye 8 hai. And this is a second generation. The biggest upgrade this one has got is the camera that now follows you and tracks your face during video calls, which takes the experience to a whole new level. And I can say that so convincingly because I've seen it on the Echo Show 10 where the whole display turns exactly where the person is going to keep it in focus. But here this device actually remains stationary and the built-in camera does all the magic for you. And that's exactly why it has a, such a huge camera cutout in the front. The first generation of Echo Show 8 had a mediocre 1 megapixel camera while the second generation has seen a huge bump, a 13 megapixel. So we should see an upgrade in video quality. So let's dive in deeper check out that huge display, see how that Alexa works and of course Alexa speaker hai toh sound quality toh badiya hai honi chahiye but hum wo check out karenge. I'll share my experience in detail and let you know if this Echo Show is worth your money or not. So let's start with the specs, design and hardware. It comes with two 2 inch speakers stuffed right at the back, it's covered with a mesh fabric and you can say it's premium the moment you set your eyes on it. It's perfect for that bedside table, office desk or even your kitchen station to read those amazing recipes while you listen to your favorite songs. On the front we see an 8 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. Now it gets bright enough with really vivid color reproduction. It's very clear and crisp. Now unlike phones and tablets that we're used to using from an arm's distance, higher PPI is preferred there. But here the device isn't something in your hand, so the resolution is good enough. In fact, my favorite feature is the new content on the display. A daily dose of news updates, current affairs and gorgeous looking wallpapers that keep changing every few minutes. It's also a smart display, turns off and goes into low power mode once it knows no one is around. It wakes up as you enter that room. Now during the night, it dims down to the extent that only time will show and that too can be turned off if needed. Just ask it to turn off the display and it's gone. The bezels however are kind of thick and not the most eye pleasing if I might say. But looking at the device as a whole, excellent build quality and design, the white bezels just blend in with your home decor. On the top are familiar echo buttons, the volume up and down button and the mute button. On the right is a built-in 13 megapixel camera with a physical camera shutter button for those who have privacy concerns. Well, we'll come to the video test in just a moment. But one of the other features this camera has that you can access this as a security camera from the Alexa app. However, it works best only in well-lit situations. You can communicate two ways by pressing the mic and the speaker button on the app. The good thing is that there is also a notification on the screen when it's being accessed. So the other person on that end knows that the camera is in use. I agree, it's a really smart decision. Remember, this ain't a security camera. The idea is to have a quick look at your pets at home or talk to your parents at home. You can't record, neither will it notify you when there is movement. Alright, let's do that quick video call. Calling Abhijit's Alexa devices. You can see the camera is already focusing on my face. You have an option to end the call, video off and follow off. So right now if I move, you can see that the camera is actually following me. Of course, it will get a lot more clearer only after the call turns on. Let's wait. Hello, Hello and we have our star guest today, Abhijit from Tech Unboxing. How are you, brother? Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Just a second, hold on. I'll just make this full screen for the video to look a little better. Hmm. Okay. How are you doing, man? How are you doing, bro? Fine, fine, absolutely fine. How are you? Good, good, good. So I'm using the Echo Show 8, second generation and Abhijit is using the Echo Show first generation. So the difference is basically the camera where you have a one megapixel camera that stays stable while this is a 13 megapixel camera which moves and follows. So tell me, is the camera actually following me right now as it turns? Definitely it is following. So and this thing is awesome. Actually this feature is not there in Echo Show first generation. Right. Eight first generation. As you can see guys, like I'm just moving myself. Right. But the camera is not following. Not following, right. Not following. So this is definitely a good upgrade. Like yeah, we have a follow-up and you can come closer. It is zooming in also, right? And suppose I can sit down sit a little. Down? Let's see. Oh yes. Not yes, bad. This is something good. Yeah, this, this is, is good. good. 
if i move back so a little like if we are considering like video call stuff right uh, echo shoot eight second generation is a good upgrade now look at What this yeah it's zooming in also on faces so basically it's following the face wherever i try to move it follows the face but the only thing is that this will follow up to 180 degrees in the front or you can say 160 degrees not totally 180 also but around 160 degree like, but this is pretty yeah, good is definitely good yeah i'm quite actually on the side right now and still we can see that it's quite in focus also it's even, really even good even the video quality is good is like good no video quality of echo show 8 first generation hmm to comparison in comparison this is better much better absolutely absolutely shall great okay bro thanks for the video call demo we'll catch thank up so soon much. thank you bro bye bye take, take care cheers now currently you can make video calls only to contacts who are either have echo devices or have the alexa app installed on their phone now as good as that video calling experience was it has huge limitations it doesn't have skype it doesn't have zoom it doesn't have teams having all those would have made this pure gold but let me tell you the display on the echo has way many more benefits like when you ask it for the weather or conversions or any question the answer will be displayed on the screen with all the other details as well like for example if i ask it the price of gold along with the price it will also give me a graph of how much the price has been going up or down that's very helpful information then you can browse through your previous list of music control your smart home devices by tapping on the display ask it to play a season of your favorite tv show from prime videos or netflix and trust me it's actually quite clear similarly you can ask it to open youtube videos and though it plays on a browser it's pretty decent now the thing is it's not perfect it doesn't have all the streaming apps that we usually use and that's absolutely fine because it's not meant for that I look at this as a smart home device that keeps me updated with news, weather, time, my daily dose of sport updates, plays my favorite music, some video calls. So take it as a bonus that you can watch Netflix, Prime videos, YouTube as well. Now, let's talk about the audio. Now, I like that you can see the lyrics of the songs that are streaming from Amazon Music. Also worth mentioning, you can stream music from Jio7, Gaana, Hangama, Apple Music and Spotify as well. you just need to add the skill to your alexa app on your phone for those who don't know skills are like apps for smartphones all right finally let's see how the smart speaker sounds everybody knows that i'm breaking down everybody knows i ain't faking now everybody knows my heart's breaking now yeah she hates me now i made mistakes but now i don't ever want to be alone i don't really ever feel at home on my own in the zone that's the only way i know feel alone about to blow back up i don't ever let the doubt creep in got a pop a cup of more raspberry I don't think I'll let the let you in. Okay, coming to the sound quality. Well, it's rich, it's clear, and you can see a drastic improvement from the other Echo speakers. However, at full volume, the highs do get muffled a little. But I don't think anyone is going to cross that full volume because mostly you're going to stick to seven and eight because that's going to be loud enough. It's clear and has the little punch as well. Also very crisp. It will surely surpass your expectations. I can challenge you that. However, my only concern was the audio firing backwards. but that just adds to the effect in case you don't have a wall behind the speaker it doesn't matter won't affect the experience drastically also there is an option to adjust the equalizer from the alexa app so you can tune your audio as per your preference the overall interface of this device is really easy to use swipe from the top to access the brightness levels you can access the settings right from here access music smart home devices alarms Now since this device has received a couple of updates the interface has got so much more smoother. The only con I see is the need for more apps that support video calls would take the Echo Show to the next level. The Echo Show 8 second generation is available in two colors black and white and it's priced at 9999. For a smart speaker that sounds amazing, a very good display and above all a rotating camera. I'd say it's something to consider. You're buying an experience not just a smart speaker. I'll leave the link below in the description. You should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time. Cheers.